Machine Gun Kelly, also known as Colson Baker, is an American rapper and actor who's emerged as one of the most unique and popular artists working in the music industry today. You see this? He's released five studio albums to this point in time and will be dropping his newest pop punk album, Tickets to My Downfall, sometime in the very near future. Between writing new music and appearing in films like The King of Staten Island and the upcoming Midnight in the Switchgrass, Kelly was keeping super busy before the pandemic came in and rocked all of our worlds. When Los Angeles announced a shelter in place back in March, Kelly took things seriously and battened up the hatches at his Los Angeles home in San Fernando Valley. Here he decided to entertain us all by dropping free frequent lockdown sessions and even released a music video for his song Bloody Valentine that was reportedly filmed at his home. In addition to finding a way to keep his legion of fans entertained in the midst of a worldwide quarantine, Kelly has also managed to find time to flame tabloid rumors regarding his new relationship with his Bloody Valentine co-star Megan Fox, who he just did a house tour on too. Megan, can you rip the one of this, this one off just... Take it slow. All the way. Oh uh, my god! Just go! Finish the... <laughs> okay. Let me out. Thank you. He's also been filming his lockdown sessions from his home in the San Fernando Valley, California, using nothing more than his iPhone. He began, appropriately enough, with a cover of Paramore's Misery Business, before eventually going on to perform the likes of Oasis, Rihanna, and John Mayer. Needless to say, Machine Gun Kelly has been as busy during quarantine as he's ever been, and while his song selection and the stripped down aesthetics of his arrangements are about as hardcore as a squeeze toy, he's managed to make this new artistic output fit in with his overall persona. His videos have drawn as many as 26 million views for each post, and they've even cracked YouTube's top 20 songs of the week. His label has told him that these off-the-cuff posts have garnered him more online engagement than any of his music videos ever have. But as well as things have been going for Kelly, his life hasn't been without recent loss. One of the biggest fans of his lockdown sessions was his father, he told the New York Times. He's so stoked that I'm playing guitar now. He called me the other day and told me that he's really starting to enjoy my music and he's super proud of me. Unfortunately, Kelly's father was suffering from an undisclosed illness over the past few months and was spending time in the hospital. Last week, he tragically passed away. Kelly was understandably devastated by the loss, but after a few days of grieving, he hopped onto Twitter and let us know that despite everything, he would soon be getting back to work. With shelter at home orders finally starting to loosen around the world, that might mean heading back to set to finish shooting Midnight in the Switchgrass, but it also might mean he's getting up for some more lockdown sessions from the comfort of his own home. So today, I thought I'd take you guys on an inside look at two of Machine Gun Kelly's homes, one that he definitely lives in, and one that's more of a question mark, but we're showing off nonetheless. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're taking a look at two of the Los Angeles homes for rapper and actor extraordinaire Machine Gun Kelly here for you on Famous Entertainment. His fans have had a front row seat to his living room during the course of his lockdown session, so today I thought I'd see if I could find you guys a look at the rest of it. Plus, I've got some inside details at what looks like the luxury residence he shot his bloody Valentine video at. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and the likes of Megan Fox and 2 Chainz and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. First things first, we're gonna take a look at an apartment that if it isn't the exact home he shot his music video for Bloody Valentine in, then it's pretty damn close. Here's the thing, once Bloody Valentine dropped, it was reported that Machine Gun Kelly filmed the entire thing from the comfort of his own place. This is a detail that was probably widely assumed considering that Kelly released the video during the middle of a worldwide pandemic with multiple shelter at home orders in place. The thing is, I can find no other details anywhere to verify that Machine Gun Kelly owns anything more than one home in the San Fernando. Valley, which the home shown in this video is definitely not. That being said, considering this is a home he's been attached to through multiple rumors, I thought that I'd at least give you guys the rundown of a listing that might not be the exact location he shot the video, but it's extremely close. This $25 million residence is referred to as the Calvin Klein home because it was once owned by the world famous fashion entrepreneur. It was designed by Paul McLean with striking features and dramatic 13 foot ceilings with automated disappearing walls of glass that opened to allow access to a rooftop yard and an infinity edge pool. 
While you're out there, you can enjoy the views of the Los Angeles Basin with sightlines including not only downtown LA, but the Pacific Ocean as well. The master suite is one of five ensuite bedrooms and seven full bathrooms, and the inside of the apartment also features a striking water lounge with bar and fireplace, overlooking a cascading double height water feature, and living walls with a luxurious screening room as well. It also features a beautiful large scale garage and dramatic sky deck for entertainment purposes that features jetliner views as they soar in the sky directly above you. Needless to say, pretty much everyone would love to live in a place like this, which might help explain why Machine Gun Kelly chose to feature his glass house in his video. All right, now we've come to the main event, the home that we know Machine Gun Kelly owns. It's a Spanish style, six bedroom, three story house. It's located in the Sherman Oaks neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley in Los Angeles, California. Specific details for this home are practically non-existent since he hasn't put it up for sale yet, but after featuring his home in a video for Monster Energy, I was able to gleam a few details from the inside. For one, it features a pretty roomy two-car garage where you can often see Kelly's Range Rover and eye-popping yellow Chevrolet Camaro parked outside. What are you, gardening? Oh, you can cover your car up. Like, oh. like, like. I think this is the coolest thing you own. During his tour with Monster, he also showed off his ensuite style bedroom that featured a massive bed and an even bigger walk in closet featuring a ton of outfits, all of which look like Kelly's trademark style. Oh, wow. This is like a real closet. Your closet has a closet. <laughs> You look cool. Cool, man. All right. What's this? Yeah, you want to throw that on? Yeah. I got this from New Orleans when you I was did? in the dirt. Yeah. You did? Oh, they were. He seemingly turned one of the spare bedrooms into a makeshift drumming studio. Yeah, I think you got the roll for sure. Yep, one of those. And then a... Wow. Rock and roll, man! Woo! And he's also decked out his living room as an electronic guitar museum with six strings aplenty. Lots of guitars. Any memorable ones? This is the coolest one right here because the fans made me this one. It's all about the fans. But they put my back tattoo on it, put a lot of my favorite bands on the Oh, floor. wow. The fans like actually got together and made that for you? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty legit. His game room features a massive pool table and the walls are adorned with his many, many awards and album commemorations. We had Disney Award, can you believe that? Yeah, no, I can't actually. That should that should be illegal. I know. Got an XL breakout? Yep. Who's all on here that's gone now? At your concert last year? Uh-huh. Your buddy Pete Davidson? Uh-huh. He was like, man, I can't believe that this ugly mother is a rock star and a pretty guy these days. The home also features a top of the line kitchen, but that doesn't mean he's all that great at using it. Wait, hold up. So you want me to... Yeah, swirl, swirl the water. Very gingerly tip that egg into the middle of the water. Oh, f ah, f <laughs> You're off? Yeah. How's it looking? Oh, dude, it looks like that restaurant's bring out. That's good. If it's looking like a poached egg, that's a good start. Yeah, but theirs looks a lot better. He's also turned what appears to be an outdoor guest house into a recording studio with some extreme mood lighting that he's nicknamed the Boulevard. If that space doesn't inspire some dope lyrics, I don't know what will. So this is the Boulevard. It's where all the magic happens. Yeah. Can we hold this? Sure. I've been working on some stuff. You wrote a rap? It could, it could be a bit of anything. So what's your rap name? MGK. Weird. I've been working on it, man. I've been working. I mean, working! I mean, working! You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got that! Then there's his living room, which is perhaps best known for his lockdown session videos and features lots of open space for activities galore. Did you touch my drum set? Nope. It's just weird because it seems like someone definitely touched my drum set. Yeah, it is weird because I didn't touch it. Hey! Did you touch my drum set? Yeah, knock it off! I know you touched my drum set. The left one has a chip in it. Crazy man, you don't sound insane. Do you realize that? Finally out back, he's got a giant pool that's great for having friends over and practicing the art of the perfect cannonball. Are you gonna jump from there? No, like you're no, I don't even wanna jump, period. I'm mad I even started. We'll do it, it's gonna get it done. It's freezing! 
freezing. It's freezing. Kelly likes to throw huge parties at his home, but after quarantine came in and shut everything down, his 30th birthday passed without much fanfare. Instead of throwing his usual Gatsby-esque type event, he settled for just gathering with his bandmates. He said, I was really scared that I was going to have this empty feeling because partying wasn't there. Ironically, just me sitting in my house chilling with my closest friends was the most fulfilling thing ever. And while Kelly might refer to his birthday gathering as a small affair, his next door neighbor flipping out star Jeff Lewis decidedly does not. During the course of his Sirius XM show, Jeff would let the world know that Kelly had a ton of friends over for his party and that his celebrations can often get out of hand. Um, Colson across the street. Oh boy. Oh yes. Now, I have no issue with this guy. There's this, whatever, tension brewing. And he said it was actually going to turn into the movie Neighbors. <laughs> and that he mm -hmm. is Zac Efron. Mm -hmm. Which means that I'm f***ing Seth Rogen. To learn a lot about him at 5 p.m., that's to them, 5.30 is day drinking. <laughs> they just woke up. <laughs> so, so, yeah. He had a big cake in the shape of a guitar, right? And you could see your house in the background. They still park in front of the fire hydrant. They park in front of the fire hydrant. <laughs> they park in front of other people's driveways. It's just like, I think they're so f***ing up yeah that they just just stop the car wherever it wherever right. it's, wherever We're it lands as you can see from that clip kelly was having a bit of fun with the matter at his neighbor's expense but it's all good now with the two eventually making peace over the matter and being able to laugh about it over social media and with the resolution of that feud, we've come to the end of our video taking a look at the homes, both real and let's just call it theoretical for Machine Gun Kelly. If I'm being honest with you guys, I really don't think Kelly owns the place where he shot Bloody Valentine. The average selling price for a home like that far exceeds Kelly's estimated net worth of around $10 million. I think it's far more likely that he used an empty residence to shoot the majority of the video and then maybe completed shooting it with some pickup shots from his actual home, as a bedroom featured in that video does have a passing resemblance to the one he showed Monster during his house tour. Or maybe he's just spending a hell of a lot to rent this place. That being said, if I was living in Kelly's San Fernando home, I'd be more than satisfied as it's super nice in its own right. But what do you guys think? Where would you rather live? Let me know in the comments and be sure to follow me on Instagram. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!